Doctor Who War the War Games Episode two Farmyard, gunshot. The doctor tenses up for the pain, but it is a soldier who has been injured. There is a sniper in one of the barns nearby. Ransom, divert. The firing squad scattered to try and get the sniper. The guard, soldier guarding Zoe is hit, and she runs to free the doctor. Todd, well done, Zoe. Can you undo it? Zoe, oh doctor. Zoe unties him. Zoe, come on. Smythe's room. Smythe is reporting to his controllers. Smythe, I am leaving for the conference now. Smythe turns off the monitor and closes the portrait over it. There is a toddler's looking like sound as a large metal object appears in the corner of the room of it. An entrance slides forward from the center. Ransom enters. Ransom, General Smythe, the prisoners have. Smythe, Ransom, get out. Ransom, sir, what? Smythe puts on his spectacles. Smythe, there is nothing there. You can see nothing. Ransom, no, sir. There is nothing there. Smythe, you have not seen me. I have been called away to important meeting. Ransom, important meeting, yes. Smythe goes into the Sarat, for that is what it is. The door closes and it demuratizes. Ransom, General Smythe, oh, of course, he's gone to that meeting. Track room. Track room. Still not a proper cell, but with barred wire wrapped around its bars in the door grill. Jimmy, hey. Do I not get any breakfast? The guards throw another man in with Jamie, disheveled but still wearing his powdered wig. Jimmy, Redcoat, what are you doing here? Redcoat, Highlander, keep away from me, you. Jimmy, hey, easy now. I'm a prisoner like it too, you know. How do you think, oh, you, how did you get there? Well, come on, how did you get here? Redcoat, I don't know, I can't remember, I got lost, I think. Jimmy, what year do you think it is? Redcoat, year? Why, it's 1745. Jimmy, shh. Forest Edge. Doctor uses his telescope to spy out a set of heavily guarded farm buildings, complete with machine gun emplacements. Doctor, oh yes, yes, that's it. That's the military prison, all right. But where? That's where Jamie will be. Take a look. The trouble is, those sentries. Zoe, what are we going to do? Doctor, don't know. I shall have to think of something. Come on. They run down the slope to a road where a staff car is driving along. The doctor flies it down. Doctor, stop. About time too. Where have you been, driver? Huh? Doctor, you have sent to meet us. Doctor, meet who? Doctor, don't do, now. Don't argue. Take us to the prison. In you get, Miss Harriet. Well, drive on. Tack room, Jamie. Look, you, we, you must try and remember. Red coat, I told you, I was fighting up the highlands. I got lost, I don't, I don't. This, there was this mist. Jimmy, uh huh. Red coat came down around me. The next thing I knew, everything was different. Jimmy, well, how do you mean different? Red coat, well, there was these great big, big guns, bigger than I'd ever seen before. Carts moving along without horses. Jimmy, I, I've seen those too. Now go on, go on. Red coat, well, there's these fellows in funny uniforms. They come along and they caught me and brought me here. Where are we? Jamie, I don't know, but I've got to get to the doctor. Look, you're going to help me. Red coat, no, no, I don't trust you. You're one of them rebels. Jamie, now look, you listen to me a moment. Jamie advances to Red coat with a wheel spoke in his hands. Commandant's office, farmhouse kitchen, actually. Another officer on another field telephone. Groton, why civil? Who civilians? Who? Well, tell them to wait. I'm having my tea, but barely. You take a sip when, Doctor. How dare you treat me like this, sir? Groton, what? Well, who the blazes are you, Doctor? Don't you address me like that, sir? This is undignified. I shall have make a complaint directly to the minister himself. That will be Lord Derby. Groton, minister. 
Oh, I don't understand. Who are you? Dr. I'm an examiner from the war office. I'm here to inspect the military prison. This young lady is my secretary. Well, you were expecting us, surely. Groton. Well, there must have been some mistake. I mean, I can't see you. Indi- Can I see your identification papers? Doctor, how dare you? You send my car to meet us on our arrival. Now you add assault of injury by doubting my current credentials. Do you know who I am, sir? Groton. Well, I'm totally sorry about all that. It's probably Jason's fault. Would you care f- for some tea? Doctor, we're here to inspect the security arrangements for the prison. Now, I suggest we stop wasting time and get on with it. British command post. Ransom. Not a trace of them. General Smythe, be furious. He must get those people back. Carl says, yes, of course, sir. Ransom, now you've got to help me, both of you. Get a party from my sergeant and search this building. Carl says, yes, sir. Ransom, I'll take a patrol towards the German lines. Buckingham, what shall I do? Ransom, I'd like you to stay here. A man in the telephone. I'll put on the, on alert and someone might phone in for some information. All right, Carl says. Carl says, yes, sir. Ransom, Lady Jennifer, the general returns perhaps. You, no, would you explain what has happened? Buckingham, certainly. Where's, where's he gone? Ransom, he's called away for an urgent meeting. Ransom leaves. Buckingham, I know it's an awful thing to say, but I can't help helping Hoping to get away. Carl says, I know how you feel still. Ransom. Carl says, Carl says, excuse me. Tack room. The very coat is Jamie on the floor, struggling. Jamie, help, help me. God, he's trying to. Red coat, you're right, I'll kill you. Jamie, he's trying to kill me. Stop it. The two guards rush in and hold the red coat off Jamie. God, get him off. Jamie, now. Jamie rams the wheel spoke into the sergeant's belly, then punches his lights out. The red coat first knees and hits the other. Jamie, you fight very well for red coat. British command office, Buckingham. You all right, corporal? I'll tell the captain. Carstairs enters. Buckingham, I luck. Carstairs, not a sign, Buckingham. That was one of the patrol posts. Nothing to report, Carl says. Poor old Ransom. He's in for a sticky time when the general gets back. Buckingham. Didn't you think that, but, don't you think that there was something rather strange about the court martial? Carl says, oh well, miniature justice, you know. Not like the old Bailey. Buckingham, no. But do you remember we were talking about not remembering things? Carl says, yes. Buckingham, well, things are starting to come back to me. Carl says, what sort of things? Buckingham, well, I was on my way to the hospital, well behind the lines. I was driving through a forest, and all of a sudden, there was a strange sort of mist, fog, and I was in the field dressing off station, looking after some wounded soldiers. Carl says, hmm, lost the memory. Buckingham, no, but is it, no, but it isn't strange, you should be suffering from it too. Carl says, miss, Buckingham, what about it? Carl says, I wonder, could it be this new kind of gas? Perhaps the Germans invented a new way of poison gas, one that affects them our minds. Commandant's office, Groton. And finally, the outer, on the outer perimeter, there are concealed tripwires and patrols. Doctor, ah, Zoe certainly does look escape proof. Doctor, I'd like to see your records. Groton, what? Oh yes, they're over here. You won't find anything wrong there. Groton hands over a huge ledger. Doctor, I sincerely hope not. Groton. There you are, Doctor, oh yes. Gordon, arrivals. Doctor, yes. Gordon, lengths of sentence, discharges. Doctor, yes, arrivals, latest arrivals, Scottish deserter, way to return to his regiment, possible talk to prisoner. Gordon, well, it's very unregular, however, you are sure that, that I, I'm sure I could arrange. The telephone rings. Gordon, excuse me, Gordon here. What, escape? Well, We've got it, 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 uh, got it, get into it right away. Let me know as soon as we've got them. Doctor, is this something the matter, Commandant? Gorton, uh, nothing important. Doctor, did I hear you say that someone's escaped? Gorton, oh well, it, it, as a matter of fact, yes, two chaps. One of them was a Scotsman. You're talking about prison. Jamie and the red coat scud along the wall. When they have to step out in the open, they are spotted. Guard, hold or with fire. Jamie, come on. The guards fire their revolvers. Commandant's office. 
Quilton shot both of them? I see. Kimmy and Thorn, the one that one of them shot while trying to escape. Shall we? So he shot. Well, which one was it? The Highlander? Gordon, Gordon, no, but does it matter? Does it matter? Why, of course it matters. Shooting down prisoners, why is that barbaric? Gordon, but they were trying to escape. Doctor, what? That's, well, that's no excuse for murder. I want the other man brought here. Gordon, what for? Doctor, I'm not satisfied. I want to hear the prisoner's side of the story. Jamie dragged along by two prison guards, his feet not touching the ground, and pushed into the kitchen. Jamie, doctor? Doctor, we see you get a doctor. If you need one, oh, my man. Right, let's go, Commandant. Dismiss your man, groaned Moulton. Please, Jamie, what are you doing? Doctor, speak when you're spoken to. Now, then, what's this all about trying to escape? Jamie, what are you up to? Doctor, I'm not concerned with that. What are you... What about the other man you escaped with, Doctor? Jamie, oh, he was shot in the leg. They, they were going to shoot me too. Doctor, I see. This is very serious. I have to... Shall I have to make a full report? Gordon, but they were trying to escape. My men have no alternative but to shoot, Doctor. Well, we'll see what General Smythe has to say about that. Gordon, indeed we will. Doctor, what are you doing? Gordon, I'm going to telephone General Smythe. I had, to, I had it about all I can take from you, sir. General Smythe. Doctor, oh, your greatness. Um, minister, Gordon, I don't care two hoots about the minister. Besides, I'm not sure you, you're the fellow warriors, warriors, war office. You were... Where are your identity, identity papers? Do I have my identity papers? Gordon, I thought so. I thought you were fa- they, there was a fishy story all along. Hello, is that? Jamie smashes a vase of flowers down under Gordon's head. Sorry, I'm sorry, Doctor. We're seeing the only way, Doctor. Oh, well done, Zoe. Yes, I think you'll survive. Right on. Come on. Let's see. We call our bluff way out of it. Call, we can bluff our way out of here. Jamie, yeah. But why are they, what? Why, why you were, why were you kidding? Ransom enters the two, the two MBs. Ransom, coming anyone somewhere? Perhaps you, we, I can give you a lift. British Command Office Post. Buckingham. General Smythe had made, had made up his mind. His people were guilty. He wanted the, the man to be shot. Cause this perhaps he knew that they were guilty. Buckingham. Oh, don't, oh, you don't really believe that. Cause there's no, I don't, but Ransom enters. Ransom, well, we got them. You'll never believe where we found them. Carl says, where were they? Ransom, well, I was on my way back here. I've given up the search, and it suddenly occurred to me. I ought to go and tell Gordon about it. Bracken, well, who's Gordon? Ransom, he's a commandant of prison. Popped into his office, and there they were. Carl says, what were you doing here, there? Ransom, do you know that chap he, co- he convinced old Gordon? He was a minister from Whitehall. He nearly bluffed him into letting the Scots let go. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I must say, I married Goal. It seems a pity, really, to have to shoot him. Cause, says, sir, I'd like to speak to you, sir. The court martial wasn't in accordance with King's regulations. Ransom, what? Carl says, I'm not satisfied. Ransom. Oh, don't be ridiculous, man. It's perfectly fair. Sergeant's great stickler for the all that. Kind of thing. So it's going to be carried out as soon as he returns. Lady Jennifer, notify command post. Will you? Let them know the hunt's over. Buckingham, yes, certainly. Ransom leaves. Buckingham, do you see? He didn't remember what happened at the court martial. Carl says he really seems to believe there was a, they had a fair trial. Buckingham, the general wanted that the man, men, man to be shot. Why? Carl says, I don't know. I think I'd better have a word with those civilians and try and find out. If Ransom comes back, keep him occupied, will you? Buckingham, right. Wine cellar. Doctor, red coat, Jamie? Jamie, aye. He thinks he's in 1745. Doctor, but that's a complete alcoholism. Jamie, aye. And it is a what? Doctor, there's something in, out of its own time. Sorry, it's like Yes, like the communications unit, the general's row, room that I told you about, Jamie, huh? Sorry, I found that it was late when I was looking for a key. Told her both these things from the, are in the wrong time. But what are you doing in 1917? Jamie, shh, shush. Carl says, enters, revolver down, drawn. Carl says, close the door. British command post. Back them, yes, Major. They were you, 
They were recaptured half an hour ago. General Ransom wanted me to let you let wanted me to let you know. Goodbyes. I have notified all command posts, Ransom. It's awfully kind of you. Has the general not returned yet? Back in them. No. Doesn't he off does he often disappear like this? I mean surely you ought to keep you informed. Ransom, well, he's a very busy man, you know. Where's young Carstairs? Right back at him. He's gone to look for some transport. Ransom, oh good, I think I'd better go and make certain the prisoners are safely locked under lock and key. Back at him, it must be very difficult working for someone like General Smythe. Ransom, yes, I suppose it is a bit of a marionette. He's a great deal, he has a great deal of responsibility, you know. Back at him, yes. Oh, yes, but a great deal deal falls upon your soldiers, Captain. Ransom, yes, I suppose. It's a job, turning a place like this, you know. Running a place like this, quite a problem. People don't understand it. It's our paperwork, you see. Quite fantastic how many forms we have to fill in. Just look at that. Wine said, of course, says, well, what is a video screen? Some kind of kind of craft? Say, so, oh, well, it's a bit more complicated than that. If only I could show you... Show it to you, Doctor. If you take us to the General's office, we'll prove that this is thing exists. Carl says, all right. You show me, and I'll believe you. But you better be right. British Command Post, Buckingham, I see. Do you know, do you ha- But how do you keep a track of all equipment? Ran so, oh, well. Now that's the problem. I've been s- keep sending these sort of, sort of at the forms. And you just don't fill them in, Buckingham. But, if they're at the front fight, but if they're at the front fighting, Ransom, there's no excuse for mislaying valuable military equipment. Do you know in the last push we lost over 100 servos? The British telephone rings, Beckenham sets, gets to it first. Outside this mine, sir, Charles says, hello, lady. Jennifer, Carl says, look. Oh, what? That, where? There? What? There with you now? Well, get rid of him quickly. British command post, Buckingham, yes, right, I will. Ransom, that, that, that for me? Buckingham, yes, all right. Ransom, who was there? Buckingham, the general. But Ransom, the general? Back, Buckingham, he's the numbers, uh, he's at number 17 command post. I'd like you to join him and meet there immediately. Ransom, all right, well, what's he doing there? That's, a, that's the furthest point of the sector. I'd better join him, I suppose, jolly nice. Talking to you, you know, not many women take an interest in the problems of supply. Goodbye, ransom leaves. A telephone rings. Buckingham, yes. Yes, he's just gone. All right. Buckingham goes to the window to watch the car drive away. Car says, enters with the doctor, Zoe and Jamie. Buckingham, what on earth are you doing? Doctor, there's no time to explain now. Now, where is this thing, Zoe? Zoe, it's over there. Buckingham, but that's the general's private room. Smiley's room, revolver still drawn. Carstairs leads a group in. Zoe opens the portrait door to reveal the monitor. Sorry, there it is, Carstairs. There's nothing there, only wait. Well, Dr. What? What do you mean? You can't see the screen? Buckingham, what are we supposed to be looking at? Carstairs, well, I can't see anything. Dr. Look at that, that wall. Concrete. Carstairs and Buckingham stare at the walls, panning, were playing into the dial. And the runners appear. Buckingham, it, it is there. I can see it, Doctor. You see it yet? Carl says, yes, but it, what is it for? Zoe, well, it's like a telephone. And you can see people as well as hear them. Buckingham, what's on the other end? War room or monitor. Good heavens, the thing is switched down. Doctor turns it off. He was smiling with a man in a dark visor staring at a glass map. Smiley's room. Sorry, but we didn't see anything on the screen, Doctor. No, no, but somebody may have seen us. We've got to get away from here, all of us. Carl says, get away? Where do you hope to get to, Doctor? Well, anyway, as long as we're away from here, Carl says, I can't let you go. Not just like that, Doctor. Yes, you can, and you've got to come too. Your lives will be in danger now, both of you. But I think he's right. Doctor, now look, my friends and I are leaving here. Are you going to shoot us down? Carl says, all right. I believe you. British Command Post, Buckingham. I'll get the ambulance. Carl says, yes. I'll meet you up by the front entrance, Doctor. So, what do you want us to do? 
Carstairs, just clamber into the ambulance and keep quiet. I'm going to have to bluff away past the sentries. Now just wait here. I'll get some maps. Carstairs leaves. Jamie, are we going back to TARDIS now? Todd, no, no, no. We must stay here and see what's happening. Sorry, we can't leave these people now anyway. Jamie, no, I suppose not. Carstairs, right. Are you ready? Come on. Ransom, Carstairs, what are you going on? Carstairs, orders from the general. So he wants the prisoners taken to HQ immediately. Ransom, are you sure the message is genuine? Carstairs, yeah. Carstairs, well, yes, sir. I spoke to General Pred personally. Ransom, well, I don't know. I'll get a, had a message to meet him at command post for past 17. That was a fake. Carl says, well, the general was most insistent, sir, but of course, it's up to you, sir. Ransom, oh, you better carry on. Carl says, very good, sir. All right, move on off. Any trouble, mind? I would hesitate to fire. Ransom, just a minute, Captain says. Carl says, sir. Ransom, where's Lady Jennifer? Ransom. Carl says, she's somewhere around, sir. Ransom, right. Carl says, and the travellers leave. Ransom, I want a word with her. Farmgate, the ambulance stops. Jamie, doctor, right. Zoe, up you go. Jamie, okay, right. British command post, the Sirat is militarized, militarized in the Smythe's, of, Smythe's room. General has closed the portrait door properly. Smythe, where are the prisoners? Ransom, everything is all right, sir. They're on the way to headquarters, just as you ordered, Smythe. I gave no shoulder. Ransom, well, you just left with... They just left with Lieutenant Carstairs, sir. Smythe, Ransom, you're a fool. Where's Lady Jennifer? Ransom, I don't know, sir. She gave us me a message to meet you at command. Post 17. Looks at the window. The answer, sir, is gone. Smythe, now we must know. Now we mu- Now we know what to look for. We will issue a general order at once. Ransom, yes, sir. Well, sir, ambulance trundles along the road. Ransom, good, thank you. Ambulance spotted, sir. Ransom, Smythe, where? Sector 4. Heading east, travelling very fast. I send a motor out a motorcycle by the patrol. So I have no need for that. Ransom, well, the sector four could cut them off. So I have concent- concentration uh, artillery there. See that they reach them. Ransom, you, you will use infantry, in, in, artillery on the ambulance, sir? Smythe, so the ambulance is an enemy hands, Ransom. Ransom, but there are two women aboard. Smythe puts his spectacles on. Smythe, I mean, well, I want a creeping barrage laid along the road. Do you understand? Do you understand? Ransom, yes, I understand. That's my good. Well, order the trinity to ta- fire them. Ransom, very good idea, sir. Creeping barrage, stop them dead. Smythe, that's just how we want them dead. Ambulance, the ambulance, ambulance, the shell which blows. Shuns make the ambulance stop. Car says, join the doctor, Jamie and Zoe in the back. Car says, maps, artillery, barrage. We're still seven miles from the German line. Doctor, well, perhaps it's not, it's not, perhaps it's not German artillery. Car says, well, our chaps wouldn't fire at us. Doctor, no, but the general's might, might. Jamie, well, whoever it is, he's aiming, aims getting better. Car says, let's get out of here. Bring the rest of the map. Doctor, right stay here. Keep under cover. Road, the doctor sits with Buckingham and Car says up front. Car says right. The ambulance strides forward and fades into nothing. Mist, burning up Buckingham. Oh, doctor, what is it? Car says full, can't see. Buckingham, what the mist, the gas. Doctor, gas? Doctor, to Buckingham, I can't go on. There's something stopping me. Doctor, no, it's not gas, go on. Buckingham, I can't go, I can't. Doctor, well, move over. Let me go on. Doctor gets behind the steering wheel and releases the handbrake. Road, the ambulance appears on a peaceful road, winding beside a river. Actually, Seven Sisters Country Park, Sussex. They get out and look around. Jimmy, that's more like it. Zoe, they missed. Doctor, what was it? Doctor, I don't know, Zoe. Some sort of false field. Zoe, so where are we? There's no sign of war here. Jamie, yes, and the guns have stopped too. Doctor, yes, it's odd, Jamie. 
Cost is feel be- feeling better? Buckingham. Yes, thank you. Hilltop, above the road and river, is a vague sound of men fighting in the distance. Jimmy, ah, oh, that's better. So what's that? A parallax of warriors are heading towards them, led by two horse chariot Romans. Sorry, oh, come on, road. As Romans plant the spora at the top of the rise, Doctor, start the engine. Sorry, quick, Jamie, look. Cause they switch on. Cause they start cranking as the Romans bear down on them.